Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab al -Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Safiya Palace today. His Majesty the King discussed with His Royal Highness the Premier and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince the latest regional and global developments. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qutaybiyah Palace a number of senior officials, businessmen, intellectuals, media personnel, journalists, and a number of citizens. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, affirmed that uh, Bahrain is exposed to conspiracies and reassured the attendees that these conspiracies are failing as a result of Bahraini people's patriotism. His Royal Highness stressed that the violations committed during Ashura season is an example of these conspiracies. He affirmed the stability of the king under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will remain as such with the cohesion and unity of its people. The Prime Minister denounced all forms of behavior that harm the ethics of the Bahraini people by means of external practices, considering it a desperate attempt to disturb security and tamper with national unity. His Royal Highness commended the unity of the Bahraini society and its cohesion in difficult times.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a meeting today at Gdavia Palace with the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, where he briefed His Royal Highness on the security measures taking during Ashura season. His Royal Highness was also presented with a security report by the Interior Minister on violations committed during Ashura rituals. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed security authorities to firmly address abusive practices that target the country and threaten its security and instructed that the measures be a lesson for other violators and abusers. His Royal Highness underlined the religious freedom in the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and affirmed that exploiting religious occasions to commit despicable acts will be handled by the force of law. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation for the citizens' stances condemning these practices. He called to promote these community stances in all opportunities. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud, and the Saudi Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of Janus Guinness Book announcement that Saudi Crown Prince's Camel Festival came as the largest camel festival in the world. His Highness also expressed good wishes to Saudi Arabia on the occasion of the Saudi National Day. His Highness took part in the concluding ceremony of the Camel Festival in Saudi Arabia under the patronage of the Saudi Crown Prince who crowned the winners of the races. He praised the role of the Crown Prince in enhancing culture and heritage as well as the economic benefits resulting from the event which reflects the civilized history of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Highness praised the preparation of the stages of the race which achieved tremendous success in this field and to be the center of attention on the international level thanks to the support of the Saudi leadership. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zainal Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the qualification of the national youth handball team to the World Cup Finals in Macedonia for the fifth time in its history. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the team has made an important achievement as a result of their perseverance and advanced levels. He noted that the efforts of the team and the technical and administrative authorities should be appreciated by all and that the team has an important task to complete which is completing their Asian journey and preserving their status. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the efforts of the Bahrain Handball Federation led by Ali Ishaqi in providing the optimal atmosphere for the team to reach this remarkable level. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sina Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and for the Cup of Sina Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the competitions of the Fishing Championship concluded today. Sina Sheikh Nasser hailed the performance of the participants in the competitions, affirming that the contest reflected the participants' experience in the sport, which resulted in its success. He added that the events will continue 
contribute to promoting the fishing sports in the kingdom. He congratulated the winners, wishing the other participants better luck in the upcoming contest and expressing appreciation for the efforts of the organizing committee in holding the contest. At the end of the contest, the president of the traditional sports committee, Khalifa Abdullah Al-Gaoud, honored the winners of the contest for categories in the presence of the president and members of the Supreme Organizing Committee for the Nasr bin Hamad Marine Heritage Season. The delegation of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW Secretariat General, reviewed a part of Bahrain's achievements regarding the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs. The accomplishments were brought under the spotlight during participation in the second Eurasian Women Forum, the EAWF, in St. Petersburg, Russia, in a top profile session held under the theme Global Initiatives in Women's Progress. In a detailed visual presentation on Bahraini women and the Sustainable Development Goals, Director General of the SCW Policies and Development. Sheikh Adina bint Rashid Al Khalifa gave an account about SCW being an official institution in charge of women's development in Bahrain, which is presided by wife of His Majesty the King, Her Royal Highness Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Sheikh Adina pointed out that the Council's march has been based on the vision and directives of His Majesty the King on the importance of boosting the role of Bahraini women in general life. She also noted that the royal vision was one of the pillars of the royal reform project, which was launched in 2000. Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah stressed the pivotal role played by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in handling international Arab and Islamic issues as well as supporting charity and humanitarian organizations. This came in a statement marking the 88th Saudi National Day. He praised the development, march, and achievements of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia since the era of its founder, late King Abdulaziz bin Abdurrahman Al Saud, until the prosperous era of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. Representatives Council Speaker underlined the historic and outstanding relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and King Salman. He also sent similar cables to Saudi Shura Council Chairman Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Sheikh and Saudi Master to Bahrain Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, wishing the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity as well as development for bilateral fraternal relations. The Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah condemned the misuse of the Bahraini society's freedoms and openness to target the kingdom's national gains. Al Mullah stressed the importance of exerting efforts to achieve the directives and aspirations of His Majesty the King for the development of the country and maintaining its unity. He affirmed that the state of law and institutions will address all ideas that attempt to tamper with national unity. He hailed the development Bahrain witnessed in various fields since His Majesty the king's accession to the throne, in addition to promoting religious freedoms and peaceful coexistence that has characterized the Kingdom of Bahrain. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh sent a cable of congratulations to his Saudi counterpart, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim al Sheikh, on the National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Al Saleh expressed heartfelt congratulations on the occasion, wishing the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia a happy return of the occasion and more progress and prosperity under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al Saud. He lauded the strong bilateral fraternal relations and the advanced level of parliamentary cooperation, stressed and keenness to further promote them for the best interest of both countries and people. The Shura Council Chairman also sent a similar cable to Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh. Information Affairs Minister and Bahrain Institute for Political Development, uh, BIPD Board of Trustees Chairman Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi paid tribute to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as it celebrates its 88th National Day. He hailed the Saudi historic stances led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to strengthen Arabian Gulf fraternal ties, bolster pan Arab joint action, and Islamic solidarity. In a statement to the Saudi press agency, SBA, he commended uh, the Saudi 
Adelaide's strenuous efforts to maintain regional and international security and peace and hailed the wise and honorable policies of the Saudi leadership, adding that such long-standing historic stances will remain engraved in the Arab and Islamic and human memory. The minister lauded the deep-rooted solid relations of binding Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud, the joint bonds of religion, kinship ties, language, culture, traditions, and common destiny. He underlined the spiritual standing of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, hailing the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud, supported by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud. He added that the Kingdom of Bahrain and its brave soldiers stand united with Saudi Arabia in its firm leadership of the Arab Alliance in support of legitimacy in Yemen, as well as the Islamic Military Coalition for Combating Terrorism. Saudi Arabia's 88th National Day is being celebrated with great uh, fanfare and amid euphoric excitement generated by the strong sense of good feeling following a year of historic achievements and growing aspirations, especially for women. Welcoming the auspicious occasion today, Saudi towns have been decked out in green, the color of the Saudi flag, and lined up in a series of recreational, cultural and heritage events and folkloric shows and operettas. Several traditional fairs, uh, handicraft shows and fireworks displays have also been planned in major cities as part of the national celebrations. Saudi Arabia was born on September the 23rd of 1932 after people asked King Saud ibn Abdulaziz who ruled over the Kingdom of Hejaz and Nejd initially the Kingdom of Hejaz and Sultanate of Nejd to change the name of the dual monarchy to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Kingdom of Bahrain today is celebrating the 88th National Saudi Day, which falls on the 23rd of September every year. This stems from the deep-rooted relations binding the two kingdoms, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdaziz Al Saud, to strengthen Arabian Gulf fraternal ties, bolster pan-Arab joint action, and Islamic solidarity. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is witnessing continuous development since the era of its founder, late King Abdulaziz bin Abdurrahman. Man al Saud until the prosperous era of King Salman bin Abdulaziz. And for more on this matter, we are joined by Saudi writer and thinker Mr. Abdullah Al Alami. Hello, Mr. Al Alami, and thank you very much for joining us. And we wish you a very happy National Day. On this day, how do you see the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's development? Uh, good evening. Thank you for uh, hosting me. Uh, first, I'd I'd like to extend my congratulations to King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and all the Saudi people on, on this wonderful, wonderful occasion. Also, if you allow me, I want to congratulate you, the Bahrain people, for being on top of expat inside the ranking for the second year running. Now, to answer your question, uh, we in Saudi Arabia were rich in our youth, our leadership. Uh, we have planned bold plans uh, to transform over the next uh, 12 years of what we call the Vision 2030. Mm -hmm. It was built in uh, 2016. It's a comprehensive blueprint uh, for the future. And we're also looking at a, a wide range of changes that uh, your uh, respected channel may have uh, uh, Sean recently, and I'm referring to the music of concert, I'm referring to the cinemas, mm -hmm. uh, I've come back, I'm referring to women mm -hmm. who have been the right to drive again, uh, and of course the economy is, is now open for uh, foreign investments. So to, to sum it up, Saudi Arabia now, despite the fact that uh, we are all rich, uh, however, we are embarking on a plan to basically boost renewable uh, energy under the 2030 uh, uh, vision program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. The Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys the deep-rooted relations with Saudi Arabia. Can you tell us more about that? Of course. Uh, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa uh, today has sent congratulations uh, to uh, Saudi King Salman bin Abd Aziz as Saud. Uh, for our country's national day, uh, the, 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 the historic relationship between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia has been 
uh, very, very respected throughout the world. Why? Because the two countries coordinate on regional affairs and mm-hmm. exchange views and, and expertise all, all that time. When I, when I met His Majesty uh, uh, King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa in, in his palace in Bahrain, I was overwhelmed with a welcome, with a gracious and extremely nice and royal welcome His Majesty extended to me and members of the Saudi delegation. So really to sum it up, uh, Sheikh Hamad bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Bahrain, of the Kingdom of Bahrain, mm-hmm. stressed the historical relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia through what? Through which both countries I guess coordinate our regional affairs and exchange views and expertise. Mm-hmm. That's basically the reason. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Abdullah, for your time. Thank you. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia celebrates 88 years of realizing and accomplishing the Saudi citizens' aspirations. This has been done through constant development of unique projects and countless achievements. More with Sarah al Brick in this report. The 88th National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a landmark event, not just for the already deep progressive path KSA has been on since its unification, but because of its landslide accomplishments within this past year alone. The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, has brought stability and security to the region since his succession to the throne. This stability has massively helped Saudi Arabia's economy prosper. Saudi citizens will celebrate this year's National Day with an array of achievements and giving, as well as the development of regulations in the safety aspects and the modernization of the agencies and institutions of the state. Celebrations will focus on the advancement of educational, health and development projects across the kingdom, in which all segments of the society are addressed, the poor before the rich and the villages before the cities, in order to achieve a balanced and comprehensive development. Some of these projects include the development of ports, economic cities, such as the King Abdullah Financial Center, as well as the projects dedicated to elevate the transportation system of roads and railroads. These especially will have a positive impact on the lives of citizens by motivating the economy, commercial and real estate movement. This has created career opportunities and better sources of income to maintain a decent standard of living. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has been able to sustain its development and turn all regions into a workshop and a stage of building at a time of economic deterioration in other parts of the world. These multiple and diverse projects have been aimed at the good and welfare of citizens and cemented citizens' loyalty to their leadership and affiliation to their country as well as their support for their ruler. The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, and the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, have spared no efforts in moving the march of the country forward in various fields, both at the national and international levels. On the foreign policy end, as well as military aspect, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has vowed to fight terrorism in all its forms and colors by taking a few major steps in that direction, such as contributing to the foundation of an international coalition against Daesh, developing a financial control system to stop funding extremism and terrorism. Saudi Arabia has established the Global Center to Combat Extremism. It has at the same time provided 100 million U.S. dollars to support the United Nations nations in its anti-terrorism agreement. The kingdom has also approved several anti-terrorism agreements while founding the Islamic Coalition for Combating Terrorism with the participation of 41 countries, in addition to founding the Center of Intellectual War to pursue terrorism intellectually. And Saudi Arabia has fought extremist ideas by spreading moderation and responding to acts of violence and terrorism in all its intellectual media and political forms. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia celebrates this year 88 years of unification and a lifetime past and future of realizations. This is Sarah Break reporting for Bahrain International. Cooperation between the two brotherly countries are witnessing new additions every day with aspirations for more achievements and positive results for the two brotherly people. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim.
The relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Saudi Arabia are characterized by historical ties that are constantly evolving at all fields based on common principles and visions due to the care of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia are distinguished by many important features and characteristics that make them a model in Arab relations. Based on a common vision to consolidate the existing cooperation between the two countries and the two countries' leaders, same vision and opinions on Arab regional issues and how to interact with them while following the Arab and Islamic principles on all issues and enhancing joint Arab action, and to adhere to the principle of dialogue in all regional and international forums where the two countries pursue a foreign policy based on rationality, wisdom and principle of dialogue in all regional and international forums. Culturally, the two countries have fruitful cooperation in the fields of culture, art and literature, from the unity of language, culture and common history, which is reinforced by the keenness of His Majesty the King to attend the annual Janadria Heritage Festival. Historically, the official relations between Saudi Arabia and Bahrain go back to the first Saudi state where the two countries began to meet. This relationship was established in the second Saudi state, which culminated in many visits between officials in both countries for the benefit of both sides. The Bahraini-Saudi relations are becoming stronger, deeper thanks to the leadership of both countries. Trade between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has grown exponentially, mainly due to the construction of the King Fahad Causeway. A proposed railway between the two countries will also create great opportunities, which will further increase trade in the future. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys long-standing healthy bilateral relations with most countries of the world, yet the relationship with its neighbor, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, runs much deeper than with other countries, not just historically, but culturally and economically as well. These established relations have brought together leadership and citizens. Both countries hosted many functions to further cement partnership between the two parties. The adoption of infrastructure projects, financial investments and more even-handed growth have continuously taken place within the framework of close cooperation between Saudi Arabia and the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is considered Bahrain's first trading partner, where Saudi investments in the Kingdom of Bahrain exceeded 13 billion Saudi rials, while the number of active companies that have a Saudi investment in Bahrain are 315, while the number of Saudi companies operating and registered in Bahrain are about 43 companies, as well as the existence of several joint economic projects linking the businessmen and investors in both countries, which have been greatly enhanced. The connections with the Saudi oil networks are vital to Bahrain. Both countries share an oil field, where crude oil is transported to Bahrain from Saudi Arabia through a key pipeline at about 220,000 barrels a day. The opening of the King Fahad Causeway, which facilitated the transfer of capital between the two countries and contributed to having multiple joint economic projects, a proposed second causeway linking Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, underlines the deep relations between the two kingdoms. The causeway is expected to cost 4 billion to 5 billion US dollars, and the two kingdoms hope the private and public sectors will share the costs, risks, and profits. The bridge aspires to add much to the trade, investment, and other connection amongst these countries. There are plans to connect the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Kingdom of Bahrain by railway. Both countries are aiming for an improved transport connection, which will vastly expand and improve their economic, cultural, political and brotherly ties. Bahraini-Saudi relations are progressing, noting that they are based on a long history of mutual love and cooperation.